It seems today that all you see is bouncing locomotives and stuff on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? Lucky there's the tales of the rails. You're lucky there's a man who positively can do all the things that make us laugh and wail. It's the tales of the Northwestern Rails. Sir Handel and Peter Sam were proudly pulling the Scarloway Railway's Queen Jubilee. The event was originally meant to be held during the summer, but because of the coal crisis, it had to be postponed. Out of all the trains I've hauled, this had to be the best one ever, Peter Sam. Agreed. I believe it was my diesel fumble that caught their attention. Oh, you're sorely mistaken. I doubt that people would be gazing at the clouds. It was my trailing wheels that did the trick. I doubt people would observe the ground level. It was definitely my geezel funnel. Trailing wheels. Geezel funnel. Trailing wheels. Geezel funnel. <laughs> Fellas, listen. This isn't a competition, but if it were, I'd win with my air pressured whistle. An air pressured whistle? Whistle? Yep, a whistle that makes noise from pressurized air instead of steam. My horn's a little sore, so this whistle was a gift to me from my sister Midlander on the Telefon Railway. The Kerr Stewart engine and Falcon engine were speechless. At a siding, James was just shunting some box fans and ready to depart with his next train, when an unusual looking rolling stock caught his eye. Driver, do we have to arrange the rolling stocks? This season was exhausted for all doing the steam engine's work. Fred, please. I noticed this summer was tiring, but it's a beautiful day at the wharf. So suck it up, buttercup. Whoa, lads, look what James found. Now what do they want? The narrow gauge engines gathered round and observed the wagon. Maybe it's a type of mineral from the mainland? I don't know. You mean minerals wagon. Then Renius came up after shunting some slate wagons. <gasps> Glory, eh? Skaloi, is that what I think it is? <gasps> oh yes, it is. It's me old haulage wagon, eh? Haulage wagon? Care to explain, Larry? I'll gladly do so. Back in the 1860s, when my good friend Neil was in a bad fell, or whenever he's needed elsewhere on the Sodor and Midland Railway, I would have to take his place and arrange his trains. This haulage wagon allows me to travel on standard gauge track, eh? That's blinking genius! I would love to travel on me own power along the standard gauge rails like ye with that haulage wagon. Even if I allowed you to use my haulage wagon, it would still be impossible for you to fit in it. The haulage wagon was specifically designed for my wide wheelbase, eh? Ah, so only engines like you, me, Peter Sam, or Ivo Hugh would use the haulage wagon. I said if I allowed you, eh? Do you think you can demonstrate for us? Their conversation was interrupted when Mr. Percival walked up with a worried look on his face. Engines, we're in a bit of a predicament. Arthur's due Sean Train and take it to Vickerstown, but he's broken a piston ring. Hey, Scar Louie, maybe you should take Arthur's place with your haulage wagon. A haulage mm. wagon? Oh, yes, sir. James found me old haulage wagon. With it, I'll be able to arrange the standard gauge rolling stock. Go on. Scar Louie explained the plan. Colin loaded him onto his haulage wagon. 
and got to work immediately. The haulage wagon groaned and creaked, but eventually started rolling. Hello, Robinson. Oh, hello, Scarlowy. What? Scarlowy? And just like that, the train was complete. Billy was called to pick up the plank wagons and deliver them to Vickerstown. All the narrow gauge engines were impressed with Scarlowy's haulage wagon. Wow, that haul luggage wagon sure is impressive. Even Mr. Percival was bewildered. Outstanding performance, Scarlowy. I'm especially amazed with your haulage wagon. Now, judging by its physical condition, it just needs to have its rustic parts replaced, and it'll be as good as new. I can't agree more, sir. My haulage wagon's in a bit of a bad fetal, eh? The haulage wagon was left at the end of the wharf. Sir Handel couldn't help but gaze at it in awe. Ah, I would really love to travel on the standard gauge main line. Just then, he heard a tank engine puffing noise. It was Thomas. Hello, Sir Handel. Say, that rolling stock, what is it? Seeing that Thomas has never seen the haulage wagon before, it gave Sir Handel a rather naughty idea. Oh, that, uh, that is a unique type of well wagon. And it was brought here so I could be loaded up to be fixed up. I've broken down recently. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll take it to the Steamworks to be met. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the Steamworks is closed for renovation. But surely I know that there must be other repair yards. Oh, that'll do swimmingly. The plan was coming together for Sir Handel. He was loaded onto the well wagon and became a part of Thomas's train. Sir Handel wanted to wait until any fast trains had passed. Sure enough, the afternoon express rolled by and Sir Handel figured it'd be a good time to make his move. He steamed up, and with a groan and a hiss, Sir Handel was moving on the tracks. But as he was approaching Knapford, it happened. A careless workman had forgot to set the points away from an original route. Work was being done on tracks that led to a cliffside. Then it happened. Heavens above, what's this? Sir Handel wanted to stop, but he braked a little too late. Now, Sir Handel was dangling dangerously over the edge. Ah! Ah! Gracious, how can the ballast spreader? Sacre bleu! Or tight, Messier! The ballast spreader hitched up to Sir Handel and pulled with all his might. At last. Handel was safe, but dreadfully shaken. Are you all right, Sir Handel? Uh, more or less. I don't know why this main line has tracks being built leading to a cliffside. Actually, this is more of a renovation of a new resting spot of an old location. Back when my great-grandfather ran the Tidmouth, Knapford and Ellsbridge Railway, this was an original route to the North Knapford Harbour. Sir Handel could not believe it. Perhaps there was more to the main line than what we 
meets the eye. Original route, you say? Um, what exactly happened to the rails, sir? With that, Sir Topham had gladly gave Sir Handel a crash course. Back in 1905, there was an original trackway that ran across the headlands that led to the North Knapford Harbor. But one day, three years later, in 1908, a terrible storm blew in, crashing its giant waves along the track structure as well as the tracks on the headlands. Once the damage was done, it was decided to reroute the line with the exception of a tunnel. It took two years, but finally, in 1910, construction was complete. So tell me, Sir Handel, how did you end up in this kerfuffle? Well, I wanted to explore the main line, and I had to use Scarlowy's haulage wagon. Uh, without permission, sir. Well then, I'll have to inform Mr. Percival about this. I know quite well he will not be happy. Sir Handel was dropped off at Ofsted Castle, and Bertram pushed Sir Handel the rest of the way home.